This is part of the essence water utility. How many million are dependent? How many million people are dependent on this? Well, this is the, the main marathon dam and it was constructed a long time ago. It's more than five million or six million people depending connections, meaning connections. Yes. Uh, stores, houses. And, mm -hmm. and now the Greek government has decided to put it on sale. How much revenue is to be expected for the, for the state coffers? from the sale of this and all the other installations of the water utility? The water utility in Athens actually affects, uh, if it's going to be on sale, it affects a, lot, a larger part of Greece. Yeah. It is the, 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 water, the Athens Water Company, there are all the infrastructure by, you know, used like this dam here and Marathon Dam to, to create the water. There are the distilleries, there are a lot of, uh, of things, of assets, mm -hmm. of infrastructure belonging right now to the Athens Water Company. And of course the monopoly of uh, actually taking water from the uh, from the earth, from the mm -hmm. rivers, from everywhere, and selling it. Mm -hmm. So uh, when we're talking about uh, the Athens water privatization, uh, we're talking actually of a, a very big. Uh, the, the the assets are not at all comparable to the price of the the market price of this company. Mm -hmm. The real uh, value, if we could put a, a price tag in something like water, mm -hmm. <laughs> is uh, more than some something like five, seven to eight billion euro. But the price of the company in the stock market is something like, uh, you know, something like one billion. It's way, way less. Mm -hmm. So it is not comparable at any uh, way in the, with the true value of all these assets that were paid by generations and generations of taxpayers, of Greek taxpayers. Mm -hmm. But the Greek state is in desperate need of money because of its high indebtedness and the government had to promise to reach a certain target of revenues coming from privatizations and going in a, rep in a debt redemption fund. Uh, that is why we used uh, for us in Save Greek Water, which is a, a citizens' initiative, uh, particularly for mm. the privatization of water. That is, we, that is why we did a very uh, thematic uh, struggle against the water privatization and not all privatizations in general, because we think that generalizing in such uh, technical issues and financial issues is not a good idea. Uh, we think that uh, the water privatization in particular is bad even for the public debt, is bad even in financial terms, because uh, we, we are talking about uh, the Athens Water Company and the Thessaloniki Water Company, uh, which belong now to the state. Of course, they are in, into the stock market and their, um, their minority shares are belonging to several players in the, in the market. Uh, but we think that uh, these two profitable companies that um, have to do with something which is so valuable, such as uh, for the public health, mm -hmm. and just strategically, if you like, uh, important as water, cannot be out of, uh, completely out of uh, public control. Mm -hmm. So uh, for us, of course, in our group, it is also a matter of democracy, because uh, in this uh, new postmodern economy, there are also conflicting groups of interests of people wanting to use water. Water mm -hmm. uses from agriculture, water uses for industry, uh, water uses even for, for, for commerce or even export. I don't know what mm -hmm. will happen in the future. So for us, it is very important that uh, there is some uh, legitimacy in the way these uh, this water, this, uh, water resources that will be become scarcer by time are going to be used and um, controlled and managed. So it's not only a matter of uh, money here, yeah, but, you but even in money term, uh, the problem is uh, is not as it, as it appears. As I said, these are profitable companies, and if they're going to give away the management of the company for something like 350 million euro, which is, let's just say, the shares of the 61% now on Taipev, uh, this is, uh, you know, for 350 million euro they're going to sell the Athens Water Company management mm -hmm. in a way uh, whereas uh, we have uh, only last year profits of uh, 78, 000, uh, 78 million so uh, every year this was last year's uh, so the, 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 the value of the stocks to be sold currently are only four times the annual profit exactly and for us, this doesn't make sense in financial terms. Uh, if you consider also that uh, a private company cannot be subsidized by EU projects anymore, and all the infrastructure is going to, to 
get uh, uh, it was supposedly by mm -hmm. the investors but the investors as we have seen in France for example mm -hmm. it's only the 12 percent uh, of the of the investments um, amounts come from the private sector all the 88 percent comes from the public so the taxpayer taxpayers are going to pay again they're going to pay as users of the water perhaps higher tariffs. For the tariffs. modernization of infrastructure. Exactly, because yeah. right now the water tariff in Greece, in Athens, is something like uh, 0 0.4 euro per cubic meter, which is one of the lowest in Europe. Yes. And still it is profitable. Mm -hmm. So you're going to take a very good, from the point of view at least of uh, uh, price, uh, a service, mm -hmm. you know, with, which uh, still is a profitable company and sell it. Why? Mm -hmm. It doesn't even make sense in, in let's just say, neoliberal way. <laughs> in neoliberal way, it makes sense. But in financial way, it doesn't. But if you're right, why then does the government go this way? What is the motif? Because if, if it uh, makes for, no us, sense? for us, uh, for, for the government to, to go for something so unpopular, because as you see, there are uh, polls saying that uh, more than 70% uh, of the people are against water privatization. And as we have seen from the uh, very recent uh, um, referendum in Thessaloniki, 98% of the people, 200,080 uh, 18 people uh, that uh, participated in the referendum, referendum voted no for to water privatization. It was, uh, it was very loud. I mean, mm -hmm. louder it cannot get. 98% mm -hmm. of the people voted no. So. Uh, to go for something so uh, unpopular and so undemocratic, for me it has to be some pushing from the lobbies. And as we know, the pushing from the lobbies comes uh, from interstate uh, relations, but also through the uh, at EU level, as it has been happening a lot during this uh, period of uh, the crisis. You think the EU Commission or the other Euro countries are pressing for the sale of water utilities in, in Greece? They don't admit it in public because we have uh, the neutrality clause at the three, three, four, five of the EU treaty. There is a neutrality yes, clause yes, when the, it comes to water. The EU Commission is obliged to exactly. be neutral in the debate uh, yes, about but, uh, privatization of water utilities. You see how they have responded even to the right to water campaign. Mm -hmm. The right to water campaign, for those that don't know, is the, the campaign that uh, uh, we gathered two million uh, signatures, almost two million, from all around Europe. And mm -hmm. in Greece, we gathered also 36,000 signatures. Yeah. It was still a success. I mean, uh, Greece was part of the of the countries, one of mm -hmm. the countries that uh, where the right to water succeeded. Mm -hmm. So uh, we presented this to the EU Commission, and what was their answer? It was a yes, but no answer. In truth, they they didn't respect at all the will of all these people who tried to participate in this so-called democratic. Uh, uh, procedure, mm -hmm. because uh, if the people are going to, to make all this effort and the, the Commission is not willing to hear out what they are going to say, what is the point in, in uh, having this facade and talking about democracy in Europe? I mean, we have seen the results of the Euro elections. For me, this is very understandable. If people have no way of influencing policies at EU level, and all the, the, for, uh, the sovereignty of, of each state becomes more and more uh, decided, all things are decided in a central way and we cannot influence at all, mm -hmm. even by <laughs> this new uh, thing like the ECI, the European Citizens Initiative. Yes. If we cannot decide anything whatsoever, if not, we cannot decide if not of the fate of the water. Mm -hmm. We have seen in the, the Italy, for example, the Italy case with a referendum, national referendum, 95% uh, uh, of the people against water privatization and still they're pushing for the water privatization in Italy. Who I mean, is this they? is the, the, uh, the Italian government. And there is the leaked uh, government from um, the leaked uh, letter of Draghi to yeah. towards uh, the Italian government, asking mm -hmm. for you know to find a way to, to to move on. To move on. So for me, this is very. I mean, but who is if you put the whole picture together, it is very obvious that these people are there are very uh, uh, concrete interests, and these interests, of course, you have to ask yourself if you're. Uh, a person of some sense, who are the people who benefit mm -hmm. from these policies. And when you see who benefits, you see who pushes for it. Who benefits? The big multinationals of water. Which is? Which is Suez, Veolia and all the other players. Suez and Veolia are two French 
multinational corporations. Uh -huh. But aren't there as well Greek business interests involved here in, in the privatization of, of water utilities Of course, there are big Greek business involved. And as we know, in Greece, there are the big Greek tycoons, the constructors, who almost uh, are not are present in every aspect of the, of the social life, mm -hmm. because they are part of all the works the roads, the, the, the collecting of garbage, whatever. And at the same time, they now try to enter the, the utilities, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but the thing is that they are already if, in, if you want to be, if you want to be uh, sincere, because they already take works as subcontractors, mm -hmm. you know. So in their presence, mainly in my view, is just to preserve their uh, their share of the market by entering uh, these consortiums mm -hmm. with the French uh, multinationals. But has there been an, an alliance between international investors and Greek tycoons, as you call them? This is always the case. There is always a Greek, uh, let's just say, uh, very... Uh, what do you mean by always? In all privatizations that have taken place uh, right now, and uh, basically in all even investments, so called uh, as in, in land or real estate. And what is the alliance in water? The alliance in water is uh, Actor, which mm -hmm. is the biggest construction company, and one of the basic families, the Bobolas family. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the same time, these people own half of the Greek media. Uh, for example, you cannot uh, is, hear anything who, who is about allied water. With them? Who is allied with, with this, this company? Of the Bobolas uh, family. Of Bobolas family, Suez, Suez. With the French corporation. Yes. And does that mean that the EU Commission is pressing for a privatization which favors a French company in Greece? Uh, they have a, a procedure, a tender, and mm -hmm. so there is uh, one more um, participant. Yes. But for me, uh, this is uh, just, uh, you know, for the, you know, you cannot have a, a tender if there is not anybody else. Mm -hmm. So they have, uh, there is another tender, uh, there is another consortium uh, by Mekorot, the Israeli state company, yeah. together with another constructor of Greece, Terna mm -hmm. Energy. Mm -hmm. So these together again are competing for, uh, this is for the Thessaloniki Water Company yes. because the Greek uh, water, uh, the Athens Water Company has not started the, 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 the process. procedure, the mm -hmm. procedure yet. Uh, of course, Suez has admitted in many interviews that they're interested in Ath for the Athens case as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we try to, to, to talk to the people, to say that all this is bad, not only from the point of view of our view that the water is a commons and we have to collect, uh, democratically control these competing interests, as I said before, uh, not only to showcase uh, the geostrategical uh, aspect of the water mm -hmm. in, in every circle of economy, life, uh, mm -hmm. everywhere, and uh, at the same time we try to explain to them that uh, even in financial terms, they this is not a good thing to sell. Mm -hmm. So for us it's very obvious and that is why, as I said before, the media, very, the big media, the TV in Greece, are very silent about this. Mm -hmm. Whereas they propagate uh, for the uh, privatizations of other assets. When it comes to water, there is complete silence. Mm -hmm. Of course there are uh, reporters from journals, from uh, newspapers that are um, trying to help, they're trying to promote and to raise awareness uh, to the pu public opinion. But it is very difficult when you have no, uh, no access to TV mm -hmm. at all. But very recently you have won a victory, don't you? The Supreme Court has judged that privatization of water utilities in Greece is unconstitutional. <laughs> or did it? It did. Um, we have to. Well, these days, are we discussing this uh, this um, uh, decision? Uh, we're trying to see if this is a final thing or it leaves some, uh, let's just say, uh, little windows that mm -hmm. the, the government might use to to find other forms of privatization through public-private partnership, for example, or other 
mm -hmm. forms of uh, you know perhaps selling part of the shares or whatever or even the management so we, we're very careful not to you know to, to, to declare be very, victory <laughs> yes <laughs> to declare that the war is over because for us this is always a battle where you have to be on, on the one side mm -hmm. of the rope mm -hmm. you know and uh, even a, a state uh, court state decision right now in Greece doesn't mean much if there is not the people uh, behind it mm -hmm. to support it because we have seen the, the, the government not paying attention to other mm -hmm. uh, to other important uh, court decisions. What is the role so, of the Troika of the creditors in this debate? For me they are the accomplices to the crime, it's very simple. The, they come here just to control, they're supposedly controlling a, a program, a so-called mm -hmm. program, which is, uh, I'm not an economist, I'm a mathematician, my first mm -hmm. service. Anyway, from what I understand, this is not a, a, a program of recovery at all. It's a program of grabbing uh, what is left from the silvery of Greece, you know, and then that's it. But didn't, didn't they let it up to the Greek government to decide whether water utilities are to be privatized or not? Well, so they say, of course, they don't. Uh, we have a letter, for example, they changed their attitude in, the, in midway uh, because we had a long uh, le letter exchange with the EU Commission concerning the, especially the water case. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a letter from them that says, yes, privatization is a good idea and we think that it could help reduce the debt and so on and so on. And then, of course, they discovered that this is bad because there is a neutrality clause. Mm -hmm. And in their second letter, they in changed the, their in attitude. The European Treaty, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. They change their attitude and they say, no, 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 we are neutral, we don't push and so on. For me, uh, I mean, okay, they, they, maybe now they don't admit it, mm -hmm. but, but... Haven't been the privatization of the water utilities been included in yes, the Memorandum yes. of Understanding, the treaty between Greek the government and the Troika of the Credit? Exactly, it's a part of the law uh, 4046 of 2012, it's page 666 in the English text, yeah. you can find it there. Mm -hmm. And this treaty, this memorandum of understanding, as is, as is it called, but it, in fact it's a treaty, huh? it says that these water utilities need to be privatized. Exactly, it says in the modernization of the financial mm -hmm. system and blah blah blah, there is a lot of sweet talk there mm -hmm. about uh, development and so on. And uh, you see the results, I mean, uh, for but us... When you ask European Commission officials, why did you put water utilities in there? Then they say, oh, this was the decision of the Greek government. It was not ours. They wanted to privatize because they wanted to gain money. At the it. moment, the, the person who signed the, that law is Lukas Papadimos, the a banker and not even an uh, elected person. Mm -hmm. For me, this is very obvious who signed this document. Mm -hmm. I don't think that Mr. Papadimos, who till two days ago was not even, you know, nowhere to be found, mm -hmm. uh, included by some crazy inspiration the water utility in their deal. For me, it's very clear who wanted that there. And the only group of interests who are uh, benefiting from this is the lobby of uh, the water, Aquafed. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, there is nobody else benefiting the lobby from Aquafed this. Aquafed is the European Federation of Private Water exactly. Utility Owners. Mm -hmm. They are talking with Mr. Barnier all the time in their offices. Mr. Barnier is the EU Commission. Internal Markets Commissioner. <laughs> exactly. Yes, yes. They have in sweet, uh, you know, these uh, nice discussions where they discuss, they discuss policies. We were never invited. They're, they're, uh, mm -hmm. They are the people who, mm -hmm. who talk with the commissioners. That is why I say, I mean, this is very... It's easy to say that, okay, it's the Greek government, but the Greek government has no benefit from this, neither financial nor political benefit, because it's uh, the most unpopular thing in the world. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are going to ask them why they put, push for water privatization Yes, we have to ask them. We ask them all the time, but they don't respond. We ask them, if it is your idea, why did you go ahead and support your idea, mm -hmm. if it's your idea? Mm -hmm. But they don't uh, say much. Mm -hmm. Well, we will put the, push, put the question what they think about the referendum in Thessaloniki, where 90% of the... 98%. Uh, 98% of the potentially There were two people who didn't hear well against. the news, you know, the rest. <laughs> uh, no, uh, yeah, I mean, we have to ask them and we have not only to ask them, but for me, as citizens, as democratic citizens who participate in the social sphere, we have to, to absolutely uh, not take any, any more steps towards the privatization of water because 
the referendum is there, uh, the, the court decision of the Supreme Court is there. Uh, so for me, this, uh, this is a case, a closed case. If uh, the government is uh, pushing uh, anymore, that means uh, that uh, they have no legitimacy wh whatsoever to push anymore. Any democratic, even with a sense of democracy in their <laughs> skin, uh, government would stop. Okay, thank you very much. But part of the Essence Water Utility is already in private hands. Of course, it's uh, as I said, it's in the stock market since '99 when Mr. Yes. Simitis was uh, prime PM of Greece. Which is long time ago, yeah, long yes. before the crisis started. Yeah, in a way, look, uh, these policies are not dis decided in one day. Mm -hmm. As we know, there is the agenda, the international agenda about the water market. Mm -hmm. For mm -hmm. me, it's obvious also from another incident. Uh, the entering into the market of the Paulson, uh, this Paulson guy from, uh, from the States, this uh, Paulson fund. The American hedge fund exactly, manager, yes. Exactly. I mean, he, he took now 10% of, uh, of the, of the water, Athens Water Company. Uh, he bought this, uh, this uh, group of stocks by the Piraeus Bank. And Piraeus Bank was actually given, even for a very, very small amount, something like 86 uh, billion million. Uh, million the agricultural bank of greece mm -hmm. so uh, they took a lot of portfolio from uh, agricultural part of greece uh, which, bank was of state greece, owned, the which was state owned for 86 million and they sold only the 10 percent of the athens water company for something like 80. Mm -hmm. so imagine it was like giving them a gift from uh, but that means an american hedge fund is already has at least a seat on the board of the Athens uh, Water yeah, it's Utility. Yeah, it's true. It's true. But you know, we we are talking here uh, not about um, you know optimizing the situation, but uh, but actually uh, trying to impede the worst from happening. Mm -hmm. We see already voucher funds, well, voucher funds. But anyway, mm -hmm. funds like such of Mr. Paulson's. Uh, entering uh, the water market in Greece and uh, this for me is a sign of where we're heading because all these papers, all this um, you know, money out of thin air that have to become something are taken from the very, very hard uh, values of the market which is the water companies, the electricity companies and also the land. Mm -hmm. Why suddenly all the funds are interested to this? Because we know in what economy we're living in. For and me, it's because probably they get it for cheap. They get it for cheap, and they get it. They, you know, it's a, a safe thing to do mm -hmm. because if you have just money like that in the air, even if you're a small investor mm -hmm. and you know your your way around this very mm -hmm. difficult situation of the economy right now, mm -hmm. you know that having some land or having mm -hmm. some you know hard things are easier to 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 keep your value with. We tried to discuss these questions with the executives of Taipet, the, the Greek state fund where all these state assets have been transferred to to be privatized by these companies. Yes, for but the whole, everybody we asked in Taipet has refused to give an interview to us. Uh, because Taipei, in a way, you in Germany perhaps know better how Taipei is constructed. It's, after, it's modeled after Treuhand. Mm -hmm. It is completely this type of thing. When uh, the Eastern Germany passed to the ger to the all the assets of Eastern Germany were trying to be sold, and but in the end they had also uh, deficit in their in their books. Yes. So but even but even the the German Treuhand executives answered questions from the press. And uh, finally, they got uh, some convictions, no? if I remember correctly. Uh, we hope only that Taipei people are going to convict it in the future as well for the crimes they are... No, what, what do you think? For, you know, for me, always it is when, when a responsible official who has to represent a certain interest, usually the state or a certain authority, if they do not answer critical questions from journalists, it more or less automatically means they have something to hide, don't they? Well, for me, it's not only a matter that they have to hide. It's a very nosy uh, type of behavior from uh, officials which are supposed to be even high level, but still public servants. Mm -hmm. They were supposed to answer the journalist questions for the people to get informed. But here, as you see, we are in another state. 
in a post-democratic state where all these uh, lines have become very blurry in order to save who? I don't know, the banks perhaps? Okay, thank you very much.